Our objective was to create a biologically inspired data space able to handle data as intelligently as a biological brain. One of the unknowns was how do human cells organize and optimize their structure and behavior. The challenge was to crack the code through which cells control their reaction to stimuli, meaning the organization and behavior of the biological neural net. The first step was to copy the clever concept of the neurons and synapses. Once we understood the concept, we were quite surprised by the relatively simple construction of the cell cores. A cell core is probably the smallest possible concept or entity of a Turing machine. The organization of cells and synapses is represented in a holosemantic structure without any pre-programmed logic. Information is stored and logic is processed within these structures. There is no classification at that point. Communication between cells is by stimuli. The stimuli is a type of histogram representing the information request. Secondly, we had to crack the neural code by which the biological ideal operates within the cell cores and synapses. Altogether, we have spent over 30 man years to crack this code. This is an animation of the communication between the cells. The trick is to understand and control this activity. The neural code is the key for total control why and how the cells react. Our third step was to create a holosemantic data space where hundreds of millions of cells and synapses can be formed to handle any type of input. This is an animation of the holosemantic data space. Within this space, the thinking process takes place. This data space is n-dimensional, including space-time. Millions of cells fire and communicate simultaneously. We understand the meaning of this communication. Our fourth step was to create various sensors to handle the different data input formats, such as sound, image, text, movement, etc. This animation shows the communication between the input sensors and the holosemantic storage and processing logic. The input sensors are usually calibrated to the kind of the input signal, like image, sound, movie, etc. Also here, the neural code is the key to understand this communication. Next we programmed an artificial retina plus a thinking segment. Now we are enabled to achieve image recognition just like a human eye. The digital retina contains three layers of cells, star cells, pyramid cells and inhibitorial cells. These three layers are in charge for the image recognition. The abstracted forms are handed to the matcher. The matcher is in charge to compare this found pattern. Depending to the field of application, the matcher will compare one against one, one against all, or all against all. The new technology can be applied in various markets. This is a short list about the markets we focusing first.